Hi everybody, it's Denise at Fruity Paradise Island with day 69. Yesterday I didn't make a video because I'm really in my painting business, okay? You see, everything's a mess. I even took my regular counter off to paint around it and I was very busy but I regret not making a video because the days I don't make a video I normally don't do very well. It wasn't that bad but it wasn't a perfect day let's say. And not that I want to be perfect, people keep telling me I don't want need to be perfect, but I want to be the best I can be. So it's 10.20 and I had a little breakfast this morning, but only a small portion and I really enjoyed it. So I'm going to make myself more of it, okay? It's, uh, I like calling it a no-gurt, like an ice cream, but yogurt. Anyway, it's bananas and blueberries, simply, because I have these bananas that I really need to finish. I have trouble estimating how much I already had this morning. Maybe the equivalent of two bananas, let's say one and a half bananas with some blueberries. So I'll put three bananas because I'm really hungry. And these frozen blueberries that I have. I'll put half of the container because the children are going to want some. So I'll save some blueberries for them. And I'll simply go blend this. And I'll show you how beautiful the texture is. Okay, see you in a few minutes. Okay, so here is what it looks like. Yummy, yummy. I love the texture. I was thinking of maybe adding water to have a smoothie, but I prefer keeping it thick for this morning and just having an extra glass of water before lunch or something. Okay, so look at that beautiful snow falling. There's not much in the accumulation yet, but at least it's snowing. Okay, so see you for lunch. Bye. So for lunch, I simply had all the bananas I have left that needed to be eaten. So it was a total of six. And I had a tablespoon of raw almond butter with that. So, and then I drank a lot. And now I'm having four delicious cactus pears. Okay, and after that, I'll see you for dinner for, with the green salad. And I am cooking some spaghetti squash. So I'm planning on having some of that with a raw sauce okay see you later bye so time to enjoy this delicious fruit the girls are having grenade and that's the only fruit that i don't enjoy eating i like it to decorate cakes i make or in juice i really want to try it in juice but just like that i don't know i enjoy these though mm. do you like it that was stupid of me i wasn't at all careful eating these and now i feel it i have all little pricks in my lip and in my fingers i'll go i'll go try to get them out with tweezers okay so you should take a spoon and be careful but i just go nuts over them so i'm still hungry or maybe i just feel like eating so before dinner, I'll have simple vegetables that I cut up and my leftover mustard and date dip. Okay, so this is a snack that's not mm, too high in calories and will keep me satisfied until dinner. I know I shouldn't be snacking this much eating throughout the day, but I figure it's better this than other stuff. So look at this beautiful dinner, okay? I have a green salad. It's a mix of spring greens. And over them I put celery, onions, and a beautiful Kumato tomato. Look at it, it's green and red. They say it's brown. And they also say that it will not become more red than that. So, mmm, it's really good. The firmness is perfect. I like it. I got it at Costco's. Then, as I mentioned earlier in the video, I thought of it and I did decide to eat some cooked spaghetti squash. It's a spaghetti squash that I cooked, that I grew all summer with lots of love. It's organic. And the problem with me and cooked foods is that when I start, I don't eat, I, I don't stop eating them. Like there's rice that I will not touch tonight. But with the squash, I tell myself that even if I eat a whole spaghetti squash, I don't care. Even if it's cooked, I believe that it has very, very good vitamins. And over it, I'll put half of an avocado and probably sprinkle some lemon, except that my tongue really hurts from those pear cactuses, cactus pears. 
and on the side I have a leftover cauliflower pepper red pepper and onion and with a little bit of lemon juice and palm hearts in it okay so decent sized portion so that's what I have for tonight and like I said if I'm still hungry I won't be shy to have more greens more squash but I won't have any other fats okay so I know that today was a pretty simple basic video of just what I eat uh, it's, I know it's not very interesting but I've been busy around the house so tomorrow I'll be cooking or rocking tomorrow and Saturday for a party I have so I'll try to make interesting recipes for you guys so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up you can subscribe and don't forget to go see my Facebook at Fruity Paradise Island okay there are I like it when people post delicious foods they made or nice posts that they see and before I go look at this I have a huge pimple like really huge and I never have pimples so I wonder what's going on with that is it the stuff I ate uh, during the weekend that are finally coming out or is it my cycle approaching I don't know so that's my pimple bye